The U.S. Department of Energy is helping a Ewing company compete with compact fluorescent and LED lighting. Universal Display Corporation has a flat panel approach to energy efficient lighting. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. It starts with chemistry. Specially designed molecules are synthesized and incorporated into devices that translate electrical energy into light. To produce white lights, you must have something that emits blue. You must have something that emits uh, green lights on, and also that simultaneously emits red light. So white uh, was, was challenging from the standpoint of how do you mix all these different, at least three different materials to emit all together at the same time and produce white light. The devices themselves, called phosphorescent organic light-emitting diodes, are similar in principle to the more conventional LEDs that are beginning to appear in the lighting market. But in terms of how they're made and what they're made of, they couldn't be much more different. Instead of the kinds of semiconductors that go into computer chips and lasers, Universal Display uses organic molecules, the building blocks of plants and animals. And its devices are essentially thin films that can be grown onto sheets of plastic, foil or glass. Senior scientist Brian Dandred says testing of experimental components and prototypes suggests that organic LED products could compete with incandescent bulbs and more efficient alternatives. So a light bulb would say it'd be at tops 17 lumens per watt and these fixtures now, these white lights have been shown to be over 50 lumens per watt. So they're, they're very much more efficient than the incandescent light bulb. Uh, they're approaching where compact fluorescence, the efficiency range of those uh, lights. Dandred says the lifetime of phosphorescent organic LED devices has also moved into the range of what's desirable for commercial products, from just minutes in early experiments to hundreds of thousands or even millions of hours. Patrick Regan. NJN News, Ewing.